An organic farmer receives a victory in a case made against him regarding the sale of his raw dairy products, but despite the win, things could change in an instant. For eight years, the state of Pennsylvania's Department of Agriculture has been battling a local organic dairy farm. Despite raiding his farm earlier this year, Amish farmer Amos Miller received a court victory. Hundreds of people testified in support of Miller's farm, claiming his products improved their health. Increasingly, the regulatory authorities see their job as to tell you what you can eat, what you can't eat, what medicines you can and can't take, what even thoughts and ideas increasingly you're supposed to have when it comes to censorship on social media and elsewhere. I know for some of us on the outside, it looked like maybe the odds weren't stacked in the favor of your client. Were you surprised with this recent win? Uh, it was good. I mean, it was a judge following the law, and I hope the judge continues to follow the law. I mean, the government is so accustomed to winning in these cases despite the law because of just the raw use of power and the intimidation effect on courts. There's a truck supporting Amos Miller, and again, all of these various people who are here in support of raw milk, raw dairy, and about food freedom. In addition to many of Miller's customers flying in from all over the country to support his farm, there was a shocking show of support from someone on the regulatory side. The leading expert in the country, someone who worked for more than a decade and a half at the U.S. Department of Agriculture, testified, just as all the customers were all on Amos Miller's side, the leading expert in the country testified under penalty of perjury on Amos Miller's side. But the victory may be short-lived. The state of Pennsylvania called for the judge to reverse his decision or they would appeal to a higher court. The judge is scheduled to decide on whether he will keep his decision or reverse it on April 16th. If he reverses it, then Miller will appeal it. The case could continue for years as this is a pressing issue that some, like Barnes, believe violates the Constitution. Can you walk into somebody's kitchen and remove things from their refrigerator or freezer as the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture did here. Presidential candidate Robert Kennedy, Representative Thomas Massey, and Donald Trump Jr. have all publicly supported Miller. Representative Massey has sponsored two raw milk bills in the past. We reached out to the state of Pennsylvania's Agriculture Department for a comment on the case. We were directed to the Attorney General's office, who declined to comment. If the judge does reverse his decision, Miller's attorney says that he wouldn't be surprised if this case or one like it escalates all the way to the Supreme Court. I'm Natasha Sweet for Washington Examiner.